wonder wonder hello people and welcome back to my channel illustrations where i talk about art and pens and art supplies and draw and stuff like that so today i'm gonna go over how to get started with line art I'm focusing on line art for this video. I'm going to do more about acrylics and oil and watercolor later. But for now, I'm just going to talk about pen and paper. Just the basics, right? The stuff you see on fucking Tumblr and fucking Pinterest that you copy off of other artists to look cool in front of your friends. You know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, so you don't need much to get started. I'm going to talk about what you need, where you can find them and how much they cost so let's get started over here I have a sketchbook that has cartridge paper and let me do a bit of ASMR right here okay so the sketchbook costs about 40 taka and you can get it from modern stationery which is a new market, okay? So that's 40 bucks. But if you can't afford 40 bucks or you can't go to new market, just go to a normal stationery shop or a store or whatever and get some A4 sized papers. You can get 10 for 10 taka, right? And you can make 10 amazing artworks on 10 of those papers. It doesn't matter if you don't if you can't if you don't have 10 daka just use your uh kata or copy from your school to doodle on it because you know studying is for losers anyway i'm joking stay in school kids i'm a straight a student so i can do art whenever i want and my parents don't mind and you have to do the same so but like some classes aren't as important as others so you can just sketch and doodle on them on those classes just sit on the back bench relax lay back and <clears throat> let your creativity flow out but anyway you just need a pencil to get started right paper and pencil one piece of paper one piece of pencil just make marks on the piece of paper that's it if you want to do like just sketch with the pencil right and if you want to make the lines permanent and fill it up with ink get a ballpoint pen now a lot of people might say well real line artists don't use ballpoint pens Mac well here's the deal buddy I'm a real line artist I mean at least I think I am and I use ballpoint pens all the time okay Okay, wait, let me just get one of my pieces with ballpoint pens to show you. Here you go. I mean, this isn't line art. This is like an illustration of Mac Miller. Rest in peace, buddy, I love you. Anyway, so I did this with a ballpoint pen and a piece of paper. That's all you need. And if you want to erase the marks of the pencil, Get an eraser. The cheapest one costs five, five taka. Get one. The cheapest ballpoint pen costs five taka. Get one. If you want to add some colors, get colorful ballpoint pens. Each costs five taka. So it's not that expensive to get started on art. If you want to erase your pen, get a correction pen like this. This is like pochish taka or tirish taka right so 25 to 30 bucks you can erase your pen marks that's all you need so under a hundred taka you can get started on line art if you want to be a real baller and flex on them haters and spend some real money get this for 30 taka it's a dollar pointer 0 0.3 it's great for putting marks on paper let me just show you right here Also, you can do stuff like this, you know, 
with highlighters. And I'm pretty sure everyone can afford a highlighter. Just tell your parents you need one for Porashana, right? See, this makes really nice, fine, fine liner-ish lines. So get this for 30 bucks from New Market, or if you have it around any stationery store near you. So that's it. That's all you need for beginning. But I suggest, oh right, I forgot something, gel pens. 12 bucks each. You can get colors. See, the thing with gel pens is, with the black gel pen, you can make something like this. This is original, don't copy it or I'm gonna fucking kill you. Or, you can make stuff like this, right? And if you get real fancy with the blue gel pen or the red gel pen, you can make stuff like this. This is done with a red gel pen and a white gel pen. That's it. That's all it took. This is done with a blue gel pen, as you can see. And one of my favorite pieces done with a blue gel pen. Here we go. It's a wave. Amazing. Just a gel pen. That's all you need. So, yeah. That's all you need. First of all, Ektahar paper, which is A4 size. Ekta pencil, which is 10 bucks max. Like, the cheapest one is 10 bucks, right? Pastakar eraser. This you don't need if you can put down line without, you know, hesitation. But you might need it. It's up to you. Gel pens if you want a ball. And this. The maximum cost is 30 bucks. I mean, this is the most expensive stuff for beginners. So that's it. Now moving on to some intermediate stuff. So you think you can do line art? Think again, buddy. Because if you want a ball like the ballers, you gotta spend like the ballers. And right now, I'm gonna show you how. This is an amazing, amazing, really satisfying sketchbook with fat ass paper, right? And this is like hundred bucks. Oops, a hundred bucks, a <clears throat> hundred taka, and it has a lot of pages as you can see right here. So it's well worth it, but it's small though. So. I mean, it's not that small, it's the size of, size of my palm, and I have huge hands, as you can see right here. But like, whatever, get it, 100 taka, it'll be really, 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 really helpful, because it has amazing quality paper, and you can get this. I don't know where else you can get this, but I got it from in front of my university, Shantamariam University of Creative Technology and it's an art university so they have art supplies in the shops in front of it but like I don't study art there, I study something else that I'm not gonna tell you because it's a secret I study dark magic, alright? Don't tell anyone Okay, you can find one of these from Modern Stationery or any basically any uh, stationery store and new market for actual beach taka 120 bucks and it has great white paper so you already know the race ratio tension is coming up so I mean it's I think white paper is better for line art than for example this off-white paper is you know but yeah, get this for 120 and it has a handy dandy handle that you can use to pick it up and carry it like a briefcase, like you're in the third grade. I mean, even third graders don't do that shit. They wear supreme stuff from. Anyway, after that, let's go to the intermediate pens. So, for the intermediate Buddies, you can get this fine liner. 
It's called Faith Pen. It's Chinese, and you can get it from Modern Stationery or any stationery art supply store in Newmarket. This costs 90 taka for. Wonder. Uh, it costs 90 taka for all the sizes. This is a 0 0.7. It's a fat ass outliner. I use it to outline stuff. I used it for this, right? But you see the fine lines here, I used the 0 0.05, which is like super, super tiny, right? I hope you can see that. This is like uh, really tiny. Let me zoom into that. I'm trying to zoom into that. It's not zooming in. Why the fuck? Anyway, you get the point. Let me just zoom in optically. It's really tiny, all right? So you can make really tiny marks with it. This is the only one that costs 110 taka, the smallest size, but like 0 0.1, 0 0.7, all of them costs 90 taka each. You can get a mechanical pencil for your convenience. I have a Pilot G2 right here. This, this, is, this was my intermediate level art supply. The first mechanical pencil I have, basically. And it's good, it's pretty good. I suggest you get the 0 0.7 uh, and get in a HB, not 2B, because HB would be better for sketching and stuff. And it this costs from 70 to 100 taka. I've seen it around 70, I've seen it around 100. I suggest you pick it up for 70 if you can. But you can basically find this in any stationery store, anywhere. Get a Uniball Signal. Get it from... Uh, get it from Boy Pichitra or get it from Book Palace. Yeah, Book Palace. Alright, Book Palace has this Pilot one. Pilot 2's white gel pen, but I don't really prefer this because it's really light. Uh, I don't like that. It doesn't cover anything up. It's not opaque enough. It's very translucent. But this is opaque. This is amazing. Uniball signal. It's the cream of the crop. All right. This costs 100 taka to 110 taka. Get it from Bulbichitra or Book Palace, or you can <clears throat> go to Newmarket and get it from any pen store or art supply stationery store get a brush pen from modern stationery or any stationery art supply store in new market or you can find it on find one on daras.com get one it helps fill in big ass lines or make background lines like this i drew my spider sauna right so i did the background with the brush pen if you want to draw something like this where you gotta fill up the background you can use this in fact i used a combination of all the intermediate stuff right here on this amazing illustration right here it'll ask Trajan, use your puns wisely or use your buns wisely haha <laughs> anyway so you can see that it's my original work don't steal it please or i'm gonna fucking kill you so yeah intermediate everything this is 150 by the way everything is around 90 to 150 right or 100 uh get it get it if you have the money invest in yourself invest in your talent and it will pay off is it paying off for me well, I'm happy. I'm not selling it, but I'm happy doing this shit. So yeah, I guess, I guess I'm not really happy, guys. I'm really depressed. Okay, so moving on. By the way, try to pick these up. These are scales uh, by Matador, I think. No, it's by Good Luck. Right, Matador is my classmates dad's company fun fact um 
I mean, ex-classmate. We used to go to school together. Anyway, uh, this uh, a pair of these cost me 40 bucks. Really, really, really helpful for shapes. You don't always have to do the small shapes with your hand. Just get this to make your life easier. And if you want to make circles or uh, 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 stuff like this, wait. Right? This is also original, don't steal it. Copyrighted at illustrations. Uh, then use a churi. Steal one for your mom or your sister. I stole it from my sister who stole it from my mom. Anyway, uh, moving on to my favorite part, the advanced, the best, the exclusive. These are the most amazing things in this entire world. I got this set of Pigma Microns from Canada through my friend who gifted it to me. Who is amazing? Thanks, those. Anyway, came with a mechanical pencil that I don't really care much about. But Pigma Microns, obviously, you've heard of them if you're into art. And I'm gonna tell you, I used to be, I used to be like a not a disbeliever, a non-believer, or whatever. I mean, I didn't have faith in these. If you get the pun, but um, tss. anyway, uh, I thought fade pen pens weren't much different from this, and how how much better can the quality really be, right? They're just overpriced, and I said that because I couldn't afford them, of course, as anyone would dislike expensive culture because they can't afford shit, and expensive stuff are us usually worth the extra price, not maybe worth the whole extra price but somewhat has quality control and I can attest to that that these are fucking amazing All right I have the 08 I have the brush this brush pen oh boy this brush pen fucking so fucking amazing and I'm gonna do a review of all of these separately if you want me to later but whatever right now let's take a look at these uh there's the graphic which is a fat ass boy thick boy and this is the smallest one a teeny tiny 005 <clears throat> the white gel pen remains the same going to the advanced which is uniball signal because it's really good Mechanical pencil, Pilot 0 0.5, only because I couldn't get a road ring pencil. But this is so good. This is so good, and I love the fucking color rate. Check this out. Check this shit out. So nice. So nice. So nice really nice okay anyway oops uh, this cost me about 250 taka well worth the 250 taka amazing quality this flare try 2mm right it has a 2mm lead which acts like a normal pencil but you can it's really versatile, really helpful if you're an advanced drawer, right? If you're an advanced drawer or an artist. Anyway, Peter Dross said it like that. Drawer, right? Anyway, uh, you can get this. It's 150 bucks. Comes with some extra refills. I think there's two refills in there. And it's going to last you quite a long time because it doesn't break or anything like normal lead pencils. And it has a sharpener right here on the back. You just take the cap off, put the sharpener 
over here and spin it. You can get it for 150 bucks from Newmarket, right? Oh, by the way, you can get this Pilot H325 from Boy Bichitra or Bo Ah, not Bo Plus doesn't have this. From Newmarket or Boy Bichitra. Or you can get it from BD Pens on today. Facebook. They have the yellow one in this, and I think that looks aesthetic, but I really love this color. Right, it's translucent. Put it up against the light. It's amazing. By the way, it's a Hydro Boost right here. Moving on. Eraser, right. Uh, this is an eraser that's like a mechanical pencil. It's retractable. And it's helpful for fine stuff you can just get it done real quick this is another pentel no, no it's not pentel it's pelican mechanical pencil i love the grip it's a fat ass grip for my fat ass hands it doesn't have any clips so it's like easier to control i guess and the nib comes out the nib is retractable Right here amazing cost me 90 bucks from boy bitch but uh, I suggest don't get this just get this but if you don't have money for this get this or this it's up to you right it's up to you you can get this for 0 0.7 so I suggest you get this actually for the intermediate it's really nice Moving on to the last part, technical pens. I've wanted this, these babies from as soon as I started drawing and it took me some time to get them because they're fucking expensive. But I have a good collection now and I'm happy with them. This is like a fucking needle. Can you see that shit? It's like a fucking needle. So tiny and it's amazing for line art right and what you do is you get this off you fill this part up with ink and this is the ink it, this is permanent archival ink waterproof this costs about 120 taka for 23 ml bottle lasts a very long time well worth it I got this white one too when I'm not using a white gel pen I fill one of these babies up with this and one with black and I just go to work right just go to town so I have the 0 0.1 I have the 0 0.2 I have the 0 0.3 three different lines I rarely use the 0 0.2 so if I do a giveaway for my channel, I'm probably gonna give away the 0.2 already. So stay tuned for that. These cost uh, 700 to 900 taka, depending on where you get them from. I got them for 700 from Modern Stationery, again in New Market. And if you uh, study in a in a in a in a university that has architecture you'll probably find it in your university university stationery store but this 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 fine thing right here the marsmatic stadler marsmatic it took me so long to find one of these it's rare it cost me 1500 taka and this is much better than road rings. This is 0 0.1. It's better than the road rings 0 0.1. I think so at least. For my experience, you know, it's subjective. So this also fills up the same way, like the road ring. But holds a bit more ink. This has a wrench behind it. So you can take this nib off while cleaning it, right? You just uh, fit this into this and you spin it around and you take it off 
And that's some quality shit right there. And honestly, this brushed uh, plasticky finish is really good for the grip. It's amazing how well this works and I just love it. But you know, as I said, this is the premium advanced users part of the video is 1500 taka for 1500 taka you can buy all of the beginner stuff all of the intermediate stuff and half of like you can buy a set of fake chinese microns why not just get those instead of getting these right and i forgot something which is sketchbooks for the advanced ones you can find these in modern stationery store or any stationery art supply store in Newmarket. this one cost me 180 bucks no this one was 150 bucks really amazing paper this one was about 300 bucks and it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and that's it get it go get it and as I said let me give you some motivational speeches my favorite art that I have made are the pieces I made in the very beginning and they're dear to me because they made me they taught me that i didn't need to buy expensive stuff i eventually did and then i realized that you don't need expensive stuff to make good art the art supply doesn't make the artist or the art the artist makes the art and the art supplies are just a tool to let that creativity flow onto the paper or the canvas or whatever but the tool doesn't need to be good if you're good you can use the tool better than other people this was done with red gel pen and a piece of shitty ass paper and you can do it too this was done with normal black gel pen you can do that this was done with blue gel pen you can do that this was done with blue gel pen as well it kind of jungler i guess uh, like it rusted because I didn't keep it in a good place and that sucks but whatever this looks so nice and so aesthetic and so amazing right right am I right please say I'm right anyway that looks good but of course on the other hand you can get expensive paper you can get expensive alcohol markers and you can make art like this and that's nice but if this needs time right take it slow start with this start learning with this move on to stuff like this right and draw whatever the fuck you want do stuff that you like draw some fan art if you can't make original art, draw some fan art. Look at references. Make some fan art, right? It doesn't all have to be original. Make some fan art. Just do your thing. Get started. If you're not coming up with ideas, reference other people's ideas. Just make sure you get them the credit they deserve. Give them credit. Ask their permission. Then reference their drawing and post them. But, you're not allowed to post my original stuff if you don't ask me, by the way. But you know, just do doodle stuff like this. I said like this, not exactly this. Don't copy my shit. Right? Right? Like, this isn't my style. I, I didn't copy it from anyone, but like, I've, I've seen people do stuff like this. And you can do it with a gel pen or a ball pen or whatever. Just get started. Just get started. Just get started. And that's all that matters. Get started. 
make something like this. Reality is for people who can't handle drugs. Ain't that the truth, sister? Watercolor. I'm gonna do a video on watercolor and how to make gradients. But you can do stuff like this. It's easy. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna end it right there. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, leave it in the comments below. And just get started in your art journey. Don't be afraid. Be yourself. Do your own thing. Do stuff you love. Appreciate stuff you love. Make that show in your art. Right? And that's it. That's all I can say. It doesn't take money. It doesn't take anything. It just takes courage. And I think you have courage. You can do this. And good luck. Subscribe to my channel. Share this if you know anyone who needs help finding out new art supplies and stuff. And, 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 and. I don't know. Just stay tuned. Hit that bell icon. Whatever the fuck. Watch my other videos. Thank you for joining me. And bye bye.